we are back, uh, trying to get everything back into the swing of things. We, uh, before we left, we decided to try to exhaust everything we had in the house as far as like food and, and anything in the fridge and freezer. So we tried to get rid of it all, eat it all, or you know, bring it with us or whatever would expire while we were gone, throw it away. So now, unfortunately, we have nothing when we get back. So we're, we're me and my assistant, say hi. We're on our way out to restock the supplies, if you will. Uh, I tried to do this morning some extreme couponing, couponing, and couponing. That stuff's hard. It, it was real tricky trying to, to figure out what all coupons in this store and that store. And uh, to be honest, it, it really wasn't worth my time. I mean, it, it wasn't. It was. I, I would rather just make a list of what we need and and go get that. I mean, you know, I think what these people are taking, uh, not taking into account, is the the opportunity cost of of spending all that time researching when you could be doing more productive things with your life. I mean, that's just my point of view. That's the way I look at it. R ridiculous amounts of time to research, and and I came up with almost nothing. And, and plus, I really don't have five million coupons, so. It really wouldn't have helped me anyway. All right, so we're here at Sam's Club. Got to get some stuff. All right, so we're obviously getting back in the swing of things. I'm here getting the oil change that I was supposed to get done before we left uh, on vacation. The one thing that I wanted to say about the whole vacation and everything like that, uh, the reason you're getting probably four vlogs in probably like a 36-hour period has to do with the fact that the last day... Uh, or the night before the last day. With, with my workflow, what I do is I, I throw them into compressor, compress them, then I put them into Final Cut Pro to edit them, and then I export them back out. Unfortunately, something happened with the MacBook where I started that night compressing them, and the next morning it still said I had 20 hours left. I'm not sure what happened. Some type of error, so I restarted the system, and it completed the process in about 20 minutes. So I don't know what happened. Uh, so a little bit of technical difficulties caused us a little delay, but uh, obviously the next day we were on the road, so I couldn't edit while we were on the road and upload while we were on the road. That just there just was no no way. I ended up driving most of the way back just because of the storms and everything like that. I didn't want anybody else driving during those storms. And then when we were going through the upper part of North Carolina into Tennessee on 40, that is some seriously windy road. I mean, you're like. Left, right, left, right. It's it's crazy trying to go through there, and it's 70 miles an hour through there. So you're, you know, one little slip up and you lose control and you're into a wall. Easy. So I, I did most of the driving back. Couldn't really edit. So last night I started recompressing all the stuff I need to compress, editing, um, and, and then yesterday's video. I, I gave you a little nice new outro. I mean, it's not the new outro, but I, I thought I'd, I'd do something different for you, and I threw a montage of Dancing Grandma in there. So if you didn't watch past the little roll of credits that I do, check it out. Dancing Grandma to some music, so it's kind of cool. So I just got done mowing the lawn, and now I'm trying to edge. Unfortunately, I haven't changed my edger blade in probably eight or nine years, so it, it's time to change it. The, the downside is I can't find a replacement blade anywhere. Home Depot's out of them. Meyer doesn't carry them. So now I'm on my way to Lowe's to see if they've got them. If I can't find a replacement blade, I have no clue what to do. Uh, I can't edge. All right, so as you can see, this is the new blade that I just put on there. Finally found one at Lowe's. They have one. Uh, here's the old blade. Yeah, this used to be this. So I think... It's a good time to change the blade. What do you say? Well, I have finished the yard work. Nice edge job, as you can see. Edged it all the way down to the driveway. Oh, only five hours later after I started it. Ooh. This is Addison doing her cartwheels. <laughs> She's ambidextrous on cartwheels. Whoa, I think you're getting tired. And she lands on her head. Hey guys, so I'm sure most of you have already heard about what happened with the tornadoes. 
Uh, and if you follow any other major YouTubers, you've probably heard about Wildebeest. Um, he was an up-and-coming YouTuber from Kansas. He uh, obviously ended up passing away in the tornadoes. Uh, he was driving home from high school graduation. He, was, he had just graduated from high school with his dad. And, uh, and he ended up being, like, sucked right out of his, his uh, um, I think he was driving a Hummer. Uh, and he was, the tornado just sucked him right out of it. And, I mean, obviously he's no longer with us. One, keep him in your thoughts. But two, he had a major thing for Kat Von D. And uh, a bunch of us over the past couple of days have been tweeting Kat Von D, letting her know that, you know, what had happened, uh, that, you know, he really liked Kat Von D, that he had, uh, he had even made an entire video about when he visited L.A. and then stopped at the, uh, the High Voltage Tattoo, the, the home of L.A. Inc., Kat Von D's show, you know, all the pictures that he had taken and whatnot, uh, and, and it was, it was, you know, a really good video, but, uh, Kat finally watched the video. So Kat actually followed all of our links, watched the video, and then, uh, and then she actually did some uh, commemorative stuff to him through her Twitter, uh, a photo she drew for him, and stuff like that, you know, and, and her thoughts went out to the family and whatnot. So, I, you know, I just want to say that that was really amazing for Kat Von D to do that, and, and just for everybody to keep uh, Will in their thoughts and his family in their thoughts through, you know, this terrible time with all the tornadoes and everything like that. And, you know, obviously we experienced some bad weather here. We didn't get the brunt of it. The the brunt happened down in Kansas and Oklahoma and where all these major tornadoes that just devastated entire cities happen. So, you know, my heart goes out to those folks. Make sure you guys thumbs up the video. Don't forget to click subscribe. Also, check out all the links down below in the litter box. Facebook, Daily Booth, Twitter, it's all down there. And as always, if you don't do any of that, I'll cut you.